The Steam Deck has been a wonderful device over the past couple weeks, taking my Steam library and other classic games on the go. However, I personally bought the 256 gig NVMe version, and it's not enough space, with just about two games already filling it up entirely. But the Steam Deck is a PC, and being a PC means you can swap out the internal storage easily, doubling or even tripling your storage. You'll need a couple items. First off, you'll need a plastic pry tool and a Phillips head screwdriver. Both of these will allow you access into the Steam Deck. Second, 8GB or higher USB flash drive with a Steam Deck recovery image on it. More on that later. Third, a USB hub to plug said USB drive to the deck. Finally, you'll need an M.2 NVMe drive. I am currently using a 512 gig from Kioxia. Do note this form factor, M.2 2230, and capacity is not available at sites like Amazon or Best Buy at the moment of making this video. I bought this on eBay because this 2230 size is OEM only at the moment. Microsoft, for example, is currently using this form factor in their Xbox Series X and S consoles. I actually built my own custom Xbox Series storage expansion card using one of these M.2 2230 drives. So get subscribed by clicking that sub button and you, so you don't miss that video and future tutorials. To get access to the internal drive, you'll need to access the eight screws on the back of your Steam Deck. So turn off your Steam Deck completely and flip it onto its back. Using your screwdriver, loosen and remove said screws. Do note the size of the screws. Four of these screws are smaller and go back into the inner center screw holes. Next, with your plastic pry tool, you need to basically wedge and pry off the back panel. Take it slow by starting near the triggers and prying a little at it. There are clips that are holding it in place, but be aware that there's also ribbon cables. So take it slow when prying it off and so you won't rip said ribbon cables. Once inside the deck, since the back cover comes off cleanly, pay attention to the left center of the deck where you will see a metal shielding. There are three screws here, top and bottom of the shield, with the third one being held behind some metallic tape. Once all three screws are off, remove the metal shielding. From this point on, you will see the internal storage slot towards the bottom of the deck. For safety reasons, take off the battery first by slowly pulling on the black tab to the right. Discharge the deck by pressing the power button multiple times, making sure that there is no power at all. You are free to take off the internal storage now by unscrewing the screw and taking the SSD out. Note that it has a metal shielding of sorts as well. Take that shield off, place it onto your new M.2 NVMe, then screw it back into the slot. From here on out, reverse the process to rebuild the deck, taking very special care with the battery connector and making sure it's fully in. I have seen many Reddit posts who think that the Steam Deck won't turn on because of the upgraded storage, when in reality it was because of this battery connector. At this point, we need to set up our bootable recovery drive. You will need the Steam Deck recovery image given by Valve, and you will need to make said recovery drive using a different software. Now Valve actually says to use Rufus if on Windows, however, Belina Etcher is fast and supported on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Ironically, it is also recommended by Valve, but only for Mac and Linux, but I will be using it for this tutorial on Windows. Make sure your USB drive you want to use is connected to your PC. Open Belina Etcher and select the Flash from File option. Select the Steam OS recovery image, and then select the USB drive as the target. Then hit that Flash button. This may take a while depending on the drive used. Warning, this will reformat your drive, so if you need anything on said USB drive, Back it up first. You are now ready to plug this drive into your Steam Deck and reinstall the Steam OS. Plug it in via your USB-C hub, shut down your Steam Deck, and remove the micro SD card. Removing the micro SD card so you don't lose any data when trying to reinstall the OS. With your deck completely shut down, hold the power button and volume down until you hear a chime. Release the volume down and you will be in the UFEI boot menu manager. Select your USB, which could be named EFI USB device, as an example. The screen of the deck will go black, but you should be able to get into the Steam desktop mode afterwards, in like a couple minutes. We will get back to this in the troubleshooting section if this process takes a while. Once on the recovery desktop, you'll have four options, but since we just swapped SSDs, you will want the option re-image Steam Deck. And sometime afterwards, possibly up to 20 minutes or so, your deck is up and running, just as if it came out of the factory again. Now, I could just end the video here, but I ended up with some issues with this process, so let's go over some tips I got for you. Number one, make sure you have a quality USB-C hub. The one I was using for this video was having some weird install issues where Steam just said something went wrong after inputting my Wi-Fi settings and it tried to connect to Steam servers for an update. I couldn't pass this error without trying to reinstall the OS from a different USB drive. I prefer using the Anchor branded USB-C hubs. However, this could be fixed in a future Steam Deck update. Number two, avoid using PNY 
USB flash drives. For some reason, using these particular drives, I never got into the recovery mode at all. It would just get stuck on a black screen or black screen with mouse pointer. Also could be fixed in a future Steam Deck update. Number four, you don't have to use USB flash drives. If you got any spare micro SD or SD cards with available USB card reader, you can put the recovery Steam Deck OS image on it as well. I ended up using a Samsung micro SD card with my Anchor USB-C card reader after I had troubles with my USB-C hub. My final tip is if you're having troubles getting into the UFEI boot menu, you can also just power up the Steam Deck normally. The Steam Deck will just tell you that it cannot find an OS installed and will help you navigate to the boot manager window that way. I hope this tutorial helped you out and to help you increase the storage of your Steam Deck. But if you still need any help, leave a comment down below and I'll hit, or hit me up on Twitter at Diamond Rice. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.